Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm wearing a pineapple shirt, which only could mean we have a Wi-Fi pineapple Mark 7 to unbox. Let's go. Bro, if that isn't the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right. See y'all next Monday. Peace. So this is the Wi-Fi pineapple Mark 7. Um, the previous version was the Tetra and the Nano, but now they have released the Pineapple Mark 7. It's supposed to be really cool, have a lot more features. It goes for about 100 US dollars. Um, and it's basically, if you don't know what it is, it's a Wi-Fi auditing tool and you can do a crap ton of stuff with this thing. It's super cool. So I guess we should actually, you know, check it out, buy it and dive into it. I've had this for about like a week, week and a half now, and I haven't been able to use it yet. So finally, let's use it, right? So this is the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Let's go ahead and open the box. And we got the stickers that came with it, pretty dope. And we got the actual little index card thing that kind of tells you all the information about the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Um, we'll kind of use this once we're going to actually get into how to use this, right? All right, so these are the antennas. It's pretty dope. All right, and here we have the actual Wi-Fi pineapple. Oh, that is awesome, bro. That is awesome. Cool, let's put the uh, antennas on it. All right, there you go. Oh, that's awesome, dude. You can see we have a few ports here. We have a button, USB-C and USB-A. There's a USB-C cord in the box. All right, hackers, so now that we finally have the Mark 7 all assembled and everything, I'm not actually not gonna dive into it just yet. I'm going to read this book about the Wi-Fi Pineapple. It's created by Darren Kitchen and there's a lot of useful information in here uh, dedicated towards the Tetra and the Nano, but there's still a lot of stuff that can help me out with the Mark 7 right now. So I'm gonna read this book, take some notes and kind of review those with you. All right, let's read this then. All right, hackers, so let's check out some of the cool stuff that you guys have been putting in the self promo section of the Discord server. If you wanna join the Discord server, it will be linked in the description as always, so you guys can join that. But let's go ahead and check out some of the cool stuff you guys have been throwing on there. All right, hackers, so I just finished taking the notes off of the book. Great book, by the way, definitely check it out, but I am unaware if Hack5 is actually still selling them. So if they are, definitely check them out. But if they aren't, um, I will try to do a giveaway sometime in the near future. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know, because I do have like two copies of the pineapple book and stuff like that. So let me know. Anyways, let's kind of dive into the notes here. I have all my notes on the GitHub, which will be linked in the description. And any links and such will also be linked in the description as well or on the GitHub page here. Now, if we go on to our book notes, right? This is kind of where all the notes I got from the book are going to be placed, okay? So the first chapter or module, as I'll call them, is kind of, this was the name of the chapter, Pineapple White, and it just gave a basic description of what the pineapple is. Module two kind of talked about the audit workflow, so kind of like the stages of an ethical hack, but more specific to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. The Pine AP workflow kind of talked about all the modules that are available to the pineapple, as well as the actual like engine that allows the pineapple to hack and do all the things. Module three um, basically told you the basics of Wi-Fi, and um, I couldn't put all that information here because it would be plagiarism. However, take the time to learn the basics of Wi-Fi and internet and Wi-Fi hacking and things like that before you just jump in and use this tool. The Pine AP Suite, again, is just the engine for the pineapple's hacking abilities. By the way, if I skip over anything, it's because it's not important or if it was specific to the Tetra and Nano. Wi-Fi pineapple setup, which was module six. We're gonna go over this in just a second so we can actually set up this awesome, uh, you know, hacking device. Uh, module nine was the web interface. So you can 
once you have your pineapple set up, you can actually access it anywhere on the network through the internet, right? And um, module 10 was just talking about the different modules you can use for the pineapple and people can actually contribute and make their own modules and upload it to this GitHub repository here. So you guys can check them out and, you know, add them to your own pineapple or things like that. And module 11 talked about remote access. And as far as I know, the Mark 7 with remote access is carried through Cloud C2, which is Hack5's cloud remote access program and the web interface that I have linked up here. I am unaware if SSH and Serial is still eligible for the Mark 7, but if it is, I have the settings right here. Um, I would also link the um, documentation specific to the pineapple. So if anything here is too specific to the Tetra or Nano, you can go ahead straight to the hack by documentation and make sure you're doing everything, everything right. Otherwise, let's actually get started and set up the pineapple because I've been waiting to do this this whole time. So now that we have my actual Wi-Fi pineapple plugged in, it's booted up. We should see a pineapple A8, A2. Now if your number may vary, but that's the one that I have. So I'm gonna click that and hit connect. All right, great. So we are connected and let's go ahead and navigate to this IP address. All right, so I'm gonna hold it down for four seconds. So I have my pineapple over here, it's plugged in. I'm gonna hit the button and hold it down for four seconds. So you would select the whatever network you're gonna use and the password for that network. So all right, I think that's correct. You can see the red and blue LED going on. So I guess that means it's updating. So it seems like my pineapple um, got the firmware update and upon rebooting, it probably got disconnected. So I'm gonna reconnect it to the Wi-Fi and see if that's gonna fix anything to refresh it. All right, there you go. So begin setup. So I'm going to hold it down for four seconds again, continue with radios enabled, continue. So we need a password right, in our time zone. We'll call this CP for Cosmo Pineapple, the password. Oh yeah, so this is the one we can use to manage the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And this is the one our targets are going to be connecting to. So we can call this free Wi-Fi, why not? Free Wi-Fi. And then current countries are United States. We're not gonna hide it either. We'll hit next. Yeah, we'll deny any of these, there you go. Um, Yep, we'll deny any of those. Dark mode for sure. And we'll accept, we'll just blindly accept the terms. <laughs> Set up completed and we will be redirected shortly. Awesome, there you go. So it says root and then we type in our password. And there you go. It looks like your Wi-Fi pineapple isn't connected to the internet. So instead I'm gonna use a wireless connection. So we'll put my password for my monitor in here. So now if I go to like get news, I should, there you go. We did it, awesome. All right, so now we are actually successfully connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Um, we're on the internet, we are able to um, do all this cool stuff. If we actually check our um, wireless networks, you can see a CP right here and a free Wi-Fi right here. Um, so it's pretty cool. So we have like Evil Portal, TCP Dump, Nmap. Oh, this is awesome. HTTPV. Cool. So we're gonna try some of these out and um, I'll kind of keep you guys updated on that. Well, we're going to try these out throughout the next couple of videos. So let me go on my face real quick. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys were able to successfully set up your pineapple the same way I did. And throughout the next couple of videos, we're going to be trying out some of the modules I just showed previously. So uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, And as always, happy hacking.